The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063, passing through 38000. Roger, Dark Star, descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, the Truger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. To I've expedite your processing, please proceed directly to reception. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director study, Banks. and military Please report operations. report to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help, no matter how large or small the problem is. Our station on Mars provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. This ensures our goal of providing a true home away from home experience for everyone. Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and throughout the solar system. If you need more detailed assistance, please see your human resources manager. If you are a guest, you may bring up any issue with your appointed UAC liaison. Thank you and have a nice day.
Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. So those suits arrived too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. <laughs> Accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling it now? Attention. Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management report Office to for Kelly Alpha. Asa. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars Post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. 
never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment. Representing yet another great accomplishment of the UAC, the Series 3 plasma gun is an extremely versatile medium-range combat weapon. Harnessing the exhaustive resources of synthetic plasma, the plasma gun meets the critical requirement of low-cost, abundant ammunition for today's highly mobile military. Capable of sustained firepower due to the latest advancements in plasma injector technology, this weapon's lightweight and high yield make it desirable for most combat scenarios. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. I'm trying to reconfigure this little guy. I can't talk now. Took your sweet time, Marine? Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. You follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. You pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Attention UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. He said, oh. he said that he saw some strange creatures or something down in Delta. He said it wasn't human. What? The captain said. Just tell me and that's what he said. I don't know if it's true. Miller about Corporal Allen? Yeah, they said he just lost it. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3!
the UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees, please take advantage of our quality medical care services. Someone new. It's always nice seeing new faces around here. Hope you enjoy your stay. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernays, dated November 10th, 2145. I've fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any.
This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation and will continue to log reports as I get them. Guys, not keep any of these machines running? Yes, sir. It's just that the science team demands a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Just do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing everything, but I just can't explain some of the things that if it happens... of sneaking up on people? Everyone's already on edge now. Yeah. This is Sergeant Kelly. We need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. Still I can't let. I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cave. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God. We can't hold these levels. We're losing it. But help us.
all units. This is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Squad leader, give sit rest. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down in Alpha Land. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in sub-level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area.
This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, things don't get better soon. All hell is gonna break loose. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering... This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate and I recommend no changes in that procedure. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Leaders give sit rest. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. 
Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down in Alpha Lab. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in sublevel. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production and data up to the 24th, Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate and I recommend no changes in that procedure.
This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernays, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, the mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. I repeat, we have negative ID on the assailing force. Stock up our ammo, establish a stronghold, and keep them at bay. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Squad leaders, give sit rest. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down in Alpha Lab. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in sub-level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area.
This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main process. Two more valve overloads are not committed in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire, jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate and I recommend no changes in that procedure. This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. 
Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation and will continue to log reports as I get them. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I don't know what we're up against. To the peak, we have negative ID on the assailant. You don't have a clear path back to HQ. Stock up on ammo, establish a stronghold, keep them at bay. Destroyed! Unable to secure safe transportation back to base! Over! Roger that, Fire Team 2. Fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out. This is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders.
can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. Be careful. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> 